This is so cool. Highly recommend speed running. I mean, not speed running. What's it called again? Virtual running. I mean, I'm only a couple minutes in. I'll let you guys know in a bit how I feel if I'm still this excited. Okay, so I find myself alternating between walking and running. I think the shoes that I'm wearing are not running shoes. Um, they're the ones I got off of Amazon for really cheap. So I don't think they're made for like intense activity or running or anything. So the balls of my feet start to hurt. So as soon as they hurt, I kind of just start marching in place like I'm walking. And um, I feel it in my legs, like my glutes and my hams, I feel it. So I'm still getting a workout even though I'm just walking. And then whenever I feel like my balls, my balls, the balls of my feet don't hurt as much, I start jogging a little bit more. I do myself, I do, I do myself. What is going on? I do see myself getting a little sweaty. So that's good. And I'm trying to track how many steps I'm taking via this app called Optometry or something. But I don't know how accurate it is because as I'm walking, the numbers aren't changing. But when I exit the app and then log back in, then the uh, steps update. So, and now. So I just finished the run and I don't know why I'm getting emotional or why I started getting emotional as soon as the video started running, but I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because cardio is not my forte, so I didn't think that I could do the 30 minutes or... I was happy that I was challenging myself to do something that I'm not good at and I didn't want to do, or if it's because the country was so beautiful and I was just like appreciating its beauty, or it was so beautiful and I didn't know if I'm ever going to get a chance to actually go there and like travel and see the things. I don't know. Or maybe it was just a really hard day today. And seeing something so beautiful and seeing something so good, like, got to me. I don't know. Either way, my first running, um, virtual running experience was phenomenal. It was amazing. And I had Habibi and Brandon join me, um, I think like halfway through or like maybe a few minutes in. And we kind of just like talked a bit in the chat while I went along the run and it was amazing and it was cool because Habibi is actually from a city by Amsterdam he's from the nether I keep saying nether Netherlands <laughs> Netherlands <laughs> so um he was like pointing out like oh this is that this is that and I was asking questions because there were uh many differences between Toronto and Amsterdam so I was trying to figure out like what certain things were and he was answering me so it was kind of like I was going on a tour of the city and running at the same time which was awesome so yeah I did end up running not running whoa hold on it's called virtual running but I didn't I didn't do much running it was more like jogging and walking and like speed walking and a little bit of jump rope like with my hands. That's pretty much what I did for the, the, for, for 30 minutes. And I think I almost hit 2000 steps, which is pretty amazing. Just through that, just through that, those 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I think I'm a little speechless right now because I didn't think that I would have that much fun do, doing virtual running. Like, when I saw virtual running, I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Like, I definitely want to do it. I'm excited. But I actually didn't think that I would enjoy it that much and it would actually affect me this much. So I would highly recommend if you're interested, uh, definitely try it out at least once in your life. This might become a thing. Okay, this whole virtual running thing might become a thing. I might uh, start doing it more often. So 
Thank you, David Goggins, for telling me to do one thing that I didn't want to do every day. And today's one thing that I didn't want to do has become so rewarding. So thank you for that. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. And, uh, yeah.